Hello everyone and welcome to a new game on the channel, Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. Uh, well, I'm a fan of the mods in this game and this is one of the mods, um, yeah, uh, school bus. That, I have not yet worked out how you're actually supposed to get to the engine with an in an intelligent way. Also, it doesn't actually fit, so it probably should, also it's not a car. Let's move it to a car lifter, presume, yeah, let's go with C. Let's turn this thing into a racing... Blah, blah, racing... Bus? Yeah. I don't think these wheels are supposed to be where they are. I think they look awesome, so I'll leave it there. Okay, so... Everything's red, basically. Let's start with the engine, I think. Part mount. Do we have anything? Radiator A. So I think we probably have a few of these because I always buy hundreds. Or I should always buy hundreds. I don't know if I actually do. What's up with zoom in? Ah, oh, there we go. I want to go back to the engine. Well, I think we have an option to repair a bunch of stuff, so I'll just repair everything I haven't got a new one of. It's not as difficult if you've got an infinite budget, but if we didn't have an infinite budget, it would be quite boring. <laughs> so it's sort of... With an infinite budget, you can see what the car will do. Without an infinite budget, you just sort of end up with a broken car. Right, we're going to have oil spillage, but we can all that in fact. Right, what are we waiting on? We're still waiting on the drive shaft, which I can't get off. Why can't I get the drive shaft off? Right, we'll just have to leave that stuff in then. <laughs> that means we'll have a sort of engine rebuild. Ah, oh, that's how you do it. Can we have a, just a standard V8 gearbox? Yes, there we go. I didn't want to close the hood, I wanted it. Constantly walking into some tyre. Clutch release bearing. Yep. Gearbox V8. I like the look of this. Oh, which one do we need to go with? We need to go with 1.5. Yep. Middle muffler, the performance one, obviously. Oh, we need another one. Right. Why is all of this stuff not repaired? Does it not repair half the stuff, or what happened?
That's some great suspension. I think... Does this thing need to come down? I'm not sure. I think it does. Oh, first aid kit. What does it say? Thomas built buses. Ah. You can't lower it when it's not got wheels. Makes sense. Ah. Right. I see. Do we get pistons in the tuning shop? Yes, we do. Piston with Conrad. Piston rings. Oh, if I haven't got enough piston rings. Great. Obviously something else I bought in bulk at some point. Well, now we get to the interesting part. We've managed to get everything apart from the tyres. Uh, let's get the tyres. Uh, to work out what we actually have, I like to separate part. And now we just sort of wait for a bit. <laughs> That's a very nice looking engine. All of this stuff can technically come off because it's not of any use to anyone. That's how broken it is. Basically, we need to disassemble the entire bodywork because of how broken it is. That's, well, I don't can't tell if there's any doors or anything. Well, we'll have to find out later. Right. Take. So, how big were those tyres? 255.5. Okay, well, it's just. Suggestion here? Just screenshot it. Ah, there we go. Ooh. I'm very happy with my choice of rim. Take. Balance. Yes. Install that on that. Yes. Oh, that is barely the right side. I thought they were bigger. I honestly thought the tyres were bigger. Part mount. I'm slightly confused. Because I thought they were bigger. Yeah, I did. I did think they were bigger. I thought they were bigger, I did. Part mount. Off-road tyre. I don't want... I want these. They look slightly weird. Ah, there we go. It actually looks right now, even if it is slightly wide bodied, even if the tyres are some far too wide, you know, far too far out. Who cares? I've got some tyres at work, and it actually doesn't look stupid. Car mount, yes. What does this car actually call? Well, this car, this bus. It is called a. International School Bus Monster. That's a good name for a school bus. Got lost. Where's the welder? Toolbox. Oh, it's literally in the thing. Move equipment. Car lifter C, I think it is. Welder. Use equipment. Yes. Oh! Oh, yes. It's yellow. I can't see any rust unless... Oh, I think I know where the... Roof windows, isn't it? 
I can't get to them. Well, we'll just have to leave it at a not entirely complete status. Right, interior disassemble mode. Front right seat out, steering wheel out. What is that? Normal mode. Right, we need to get some seats and a steering wheel. Right, where are we? Interior shop. <sighs> oh, yes. Uh, which one do we go with? Oh, yes. Seat 4 fabric looks nice. Yes, 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 yes. Buy a few of these in case there's multiple required. And steering wheel to bus. We don't want it to rate a sports car like, so we're going to go with steering wheel 14. Interior assemble. Oh no, you only need one. Okay. Ah yes, there we go. Steering wheel, steering wheel. And now where's the interior detailing kit? I need some interior detailing. Yes, I like interior detailing. Car status. Uh, global parts condition is... Oh, that's not good actually. Interior condition is almost good if I could find the... Interior detailing toolkit. Can't lift a C. Where does it put this? I don't know. Great. Does it put it here? Yes. Use equipment. Yes. So the global body parts condition, we're just going to have to ignore that fact because I have no idea what is going on. No, I'm not going to sell this car. Left side mirror. Ah, yes. That's actually quite important, this stuff. Right, headlight. Anything I've missed? Car status. I have no idea whether... Left side mirror. Right, right, fender. Left tail light. Oh, we're just going to have to ignore this stuff. Right, let's paint it. Let's paint this. <laughs> yep, uh... Great. Paint shop. Paint car. Do we have liveries? Liveries, liveries, livery. We have one which is just weird. Right. We're going to go. And now move the vehicle onto the dyno. I want to see how much. No oil in engine. Ah, yes. I should have known. Oh, we found a place it actually fits. Okay, we might actually be able to see where the thing is that it's missing. Oh, no. Right, where do we start the dyno? Yes, I would like to proceed with the dyno test. Are we ready? Three, two, one. Oh, factory engine power, a thousand horsepower. Oh, that looks... Very good, I think. Yes. Oh, an eight. Ooh. Eighteen hundred and sixty-eight horsepower. And seventeen hundred pounds foot of torque. Not bad. Move car. Right. We're taking this thing for a spin. Are you ready? Workshop maps. Yes. Let's see how fast this car is. I think for that I need to go to Purgatory. Which is just a flat map, I believe. I've downloaded all of the maps I could find, basically. Whoa, that's very flat. Are you ready? How do I 
switch view. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's a hundred miles an hour. How fast will this bus go? Ooh, ooh. 237, 238, 239, 240 miles an hour. 245 miles an hour. 250 miles an hour. 255. 260. 270. 280. 290 miles an hour. 295. 300 miles an hour in a school bus. 310. 320. 320. Windows are shaking. 360 miles an hour. Four hundred miles an hour. Four hundred and fifty miles an hour. Five hundred miles an hour. Six hundred miles an hour. <laughs> oh, it's going really fast now. 700 miles an hour. 800 miles an hour. Whoa, my God. Eight hundred miles an hour. That is amazing. <laughs> Eight hundred miles an hour in a school bus. This car does not have a limit. <laughs> oh right, let's do some real world tests. How fast does it go around the Top Gear test track? Oh, that's fast. It's 100 miles an hour already. That didn't go to plan. <laughs> This car is stupidly fast. Well, this car's... This bus is so fast, I can't keep up. I'm not capable of keeping up. I am... This is just too fast for me to comprehend. <laughs> Let's try that again. <laughs> so we break much too late into hammerheads here, so I'm going to break about here now. That was still too late. It's a bust. The handling is obviously hateful. Whoa! We went extremely wide there. We've managed to get into oversteer. Great. I think we won't be able to keep it on here yet, we need to break. Oh, who wants to bet we can't take follow through? No. Let's try this again. I will do a lap. So what have we learnt so far? This car is ridiculously good in a straight line. But terrible on a racetrack. Simply because it's brakes too bad.
Whoa, that's how you slide. Okay, we're going to have to sort of ignore the checkpoints. Oh, they're not the checkpoints, the actual... Whoa! Goodbye, traffic cone. We're going to have to ignore the actual line you're supposed to take through here, through all of these corners. And just get a lap done. No, that's not... <laughs> this is ridiculous! Come on, you can do this. first gear again and we're still trying to get around that corner. <laughs> Here we go! Yep, that's full on the brakes. We actually managed to slow down. Okay, we've got this. Do not oversteer. Good. You can't take this flat out, even but Now this corner you're supposed to take flat out, but can't. Break! Break early for back rack. Oh, of course. Right, we've got a lap in 1.13. So that was that. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like and or subscribe to the channel. Tell me you want more of this sort of thing of the car mechanic simulator. Because I really enjoy this game. Whoa, what happened there? Something went wrong. No. Nope. Let's try this again. Yeah, basically what happens is, I think it hits the limiter here, you're not supposed to go any faster than that, but something goes wrong and it does, and it makes you go for... Reduce speed now! Oh, oh. See, that's what I'm talking about with these brakes. I was still doing 100 miles an hour. It felt like a lot more than 100, a lot less than 100 miles an hour, but it was 100 miles an hour. So, that note, well, I've already said on, but I hope you enjoy and all of that stuff. So, see you in another video.